All right, so some of the settings we're going to change here are in the driver settings. So you're going to type in printers and scanners. You'll, you'll go to this one here, and within this screen, uh, you'll find your printer, which in this case is the TSC printer. So you click on that, left click, and you go to manage. Um, one of the things we normally like to do is uh, recommend to people go to the uh, printing, uh, printer properties, and in here there's a security tab. and we usually recommend that people choose allow for all of these different usernames here. Uh, I've already checked them off. Oh, that one I haven't. Um, they may or may not cause a problem, but we just usually recommend if you have the option, choose allow for all of them for this printer driver because it, there's the odd time that it uh, causes problems. So just hit apply and OK. And that could be eliminating some issues. Uh, now the main settings are in the printing preferences. and it's going to be under the stock tab that we go so these printers these settings here are very important um, when they come defaulted they're probably kind of like this and that's not what you want so we're going to make sure the method is always thermal transfer because uh, you're using a ribbon and the printer needs to know that then for the type um, if you're using continuous material that is the choice uh, you choose continuous and if you're using die cut labels you use labels of gaps and such so the, the machine needs to know what kind of material you have. So with continuous material, and then down here in post print, you have your options of what you want it to do. And if it's continuous, you want it to cut, and you're gonna choose after specified interval. And those are very important settings. Now, um, when you apply those and okay, it will save them. So then you won't have to worry about that going forward unless something changes with your computers again down the road. Uh, you can keep this video for f future if needed. The other thing that you can do in the printing preferences is also go to the options and in here this little check mark might be locked but you can uncheck it and you can actually adjust some of your printness speed and your darkness um, if you find you want it to go a little bit faster you could try that if it's not printing quite vibrant enough you could either slow it down or increase your darkness but we recommend not going uh, not just maxing your darkness out because it actually could burn the print out, head out faster by doing that. So you want to just find kind of that sweet spot uh, where the darkness is nice and the speed is good. And then when you hit apply, it will actually lock that for every label that you create will be starting with those settings. You could always change them in between if you need. But now you're defaulted in your um, driver and that should have solved a lot of the problems.